Welcome back, my fellow Duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. Today, we are taking a quick and dirty look here at the brand new DLC that will be releasing here in a couple of weeks for Oxygen Not Included called Spaced Out. Now, this currently is an alpha build, and it kind of requires a little bit of an invite in order to get your hands on it. Now for this video here, I was actually sharing an account with a friend, Desktop Coder. So we were actually going through this whole sort of revealing of different things together. So what we're looking at here is a partial build though of the actual game, looking at the multi-world gameplay, looking at the different critters and stuff. However, it, this is not everything that is going to be in the DLC, in case you're wondering. So things like the nuclear systems, the late game planetoids, all that stuff, you can get more details about it in the link in the description down here below. As far as the video here, we're taking kind of a debug look at some of the new things that you're going to be seeing here in the game. And yes, in case you're wondering, I'm absolutely going to be doing a playthrough here, multiple playthroughs, I should say, of this new DLC. And I'll also be doing a more proper overview of everything that's going to be in this DLC once it's kind of a little bit more fleshed out. But here you have it, a quick and dirty look at some of the new things we're going to be seeing in the DLC. Yeah, they got some new music. All right, so when we go to new game here, go under survival, check this out. We've got uh, the old destination, but then we got this new one. You got all these little biomes down here as well. So this is known as the swamp cluster. And then you've got surrounding planets. So, I see. So they'll allow you to play the old game if you want. That's perfect. Yeah, and then this is the expansion bit here. Wait, they, they changed critter version. They changed the names of stuff. Look like green thumb. Oh, yeah. Wait, pardon me. Start with the tier two skill, because that means you can go straight Whoa. into Whoa! Plus ten on building. Oh my! Look at that. Starts with the tier three skill. Mechatronics Engineering? We start with Mechatronics Engineering. Ha! The real question is, can we start with a Meep? How many times do we Probably get a roll? I don't think you can start with Meep unless they changed it. Oh, that one was skilled in rocket piling. Oh, let's try to get one of those. Actually, can I do this? Can I just go straight for rockets? Uh, mm. Maybe suit wearer, because that's what rocket piloting is. <laughs> Athletics plus eight? Oh, yeah. Man. Starts with a tier four skill, huh? That is amazing. Interesting. Although okay, I wonder you know what their morale is going to be like. It in... says there's no morale penalty if you hover over it. What? That's... What? So that, probably, that helps you end game when you want a rocket pilot, mm -hmm. and you just you get a rocket pilot from the printing pod. Oh, that's amazing. But the the way the rockets are going to be, they're actually more mid game now. That's true. Uh -huh. Now look at this UI. Everything is different. Everything is different. <laughs> look, the edges of the blocks, like everything oh. is different. Oh, look at this. That's without a mod. It's without a mod. Some I of the mods have been. Every single person <laughs> who did that. Thank you. Oh, this seems like a nice biome to start off in. Look at that. Mmm. Polluted oxygen for everybody. Oh, wait, is it emitting polluted oxygen out of the tile? It's polluted dirt, yeah. Yep. That is horrible. <laughs> C13. Ooh. Oh. Graphs and stuff. Wait, pin to make it always available? Yes. Ooh. I'm in. Ooh. I'm buying it just for that. Cobalt ore? That's totally different. Yes. Okay, so it's kind of just average. No, and I'm not seeing any discrepancies in specific heat capacity, so. No free energy. I was hoping for, I was hoping for something amazing. <laughs> Oh look, it says three out of three yeah. in the duplicates. I think on the top left. Yeah, so if we go to star map, which we can already go to, this is different. Whoa. Look at that. So I think if we were to we'll, we'll jump into debug mode after we play just a little bit here. Printing pod, you can make another pod. Ooh. Only one pod allowed. Oh, maybe you can make one in different areas. <gasps> oh yeah, because you'll probably land a rocket on it, then you have to build a pod. Hmm. Yeah, so we get some new plants. Marshmallow. Or, sorry, not marshmallow. Mallow. Mallow? Mellow Mallow? Mellow Mallow. Mellow Mallow. <laughs> mellow, mellow. <laughs> and a bog bucket. <gasps> oh, look at this little dude. I love him. A plug slug. So I heard about this thing. You know what it's for? Think about it real quick. What is a plug slug? What would a plug... It's got little zappies coming off it. <gasps> Wait, does it make power? Yes, it makes power. 
How would it make power? Apparently, it snuggles up to loose wires throughout your base. Okay, so interesting. There's like a power outlet right here. And the plug slug has plugged into it. And you can see that it's filling up the battery right here. So I'm getting 400 watts throughout the night <laughs> while the thing sleeps. Huh. Interesting. So here it is again. They find a spot and they go to sleep. And then that's where the plug shows up. Just like that. So you kind of have to have the wires in the right spot where you think they're going to sleep in order to get the power out of them. Huh. Oh, see? There's another one. What an interesting little animal. Zub, 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 zub. My sound effect for him. I wonder if they generate more when they're not wild. 1600 watts! Whoa! <laughs> Holy moly! Plug slug, you are my new favorite friend. You and I are gonna get along very well. Oh, look at Whoa. research is totally different. There's a filter. I it's know. Branching. Huh? Morale. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's perfect. Look, this the second one looks like a rocket. Oh under after research, there's like a I see a rocket right there. Whoa. Sugar engine? Holy cow, that's very very early. Rocket solid port. Uh, Sounds to be loaded. Yeah, move it to the left. That's what I was saying. Look at how early in the research it is. That is really early. There's the telescope right there. Wow. <laughs> it's part of the advanced research. <laughs> so you could rush rockets and have your whole base on rockets instead of on your own planet. Yeah, I think that's all part of the, the ideas. Having some rocket be... You know, kind of being able to go to those different locations. We might actually be able to see them now. You know, a lot of the audio sounds a little bit different. It does. It's like they've altered it slightly. Well, that's different. Oh, vitals. Eaten today. Health. Diseases. Oh, we didn't even take a look at their skills. Already starts with that's mechatronics amazing. engineering. Here, slap your hat on. Run. That is... Oh, and there's a rocket, rocket already. <laughs> I wonder if that does anything now, because that's still a hard skill to get to. And since rocketry is so early. Oh, look at what we found down here. Mm. What is that? Look at this thing. Warp pipe input. I wonder what we could shove in that. Uh, hopefully a duplicate. <laughs> I just, for whatever reason, I really want to put a duplicate in there. So it's got a conveyor loader, mm, which we don't have any of that researched at the moment. I see gas, I see liquid, and I see solids. I think it's how we move stuff between bases, personally. Ah. Oh, there's another one. There is. So this oh, one over here... Yep. So this is coming from other places. Look at those floor tiles. Those look beautiful. Ooh. Look, wait, did that say toilets zero out of three? <laughs> in the... Where? In the diagnostics. Toilets. Toilets zero, zero, to zero out of three. <laughs> you can see the toilet ratio. <laughs> yes. They do. Do we get some different diagnostics now that I have multiples? Not three toilet. out of three. Three yeah. out of three. We're all good. We can pin I, that. Why they made that a diagnostic, I have no clue. You know why? Um, I'm guessing because when we go to the star map and we look at other places, if you, if you have a toilets out of order and a different asteroid, you'll be able to click on it and jump to it. Ah, uh, that would be smart. I think something like that might be there. Let's just go ahead and reveal this real quick. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Is that a spider? Mmm, not quite. It's a bug with really tall legs. <laughs> oh, that looks nasty. <laughs> oh. I like the plant, though. The plant looks great. That's where the sugar Whoop. comes from. So it eats sulfur. Mm -hmm. Finally, we have a use for that. Then there goes sucrose. And then we get this and then we get the the sugar. Oh, there's all these other critters. The bees. The bees, they made it. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Oh, it took forever for them to add the bees. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, what a spoiler. We need those everywhere. The sweet that sweepy sweet that, friend. Yes, it is. Oh, there we go. I saw the other guys. Did you? Ooh. 
What? Oh, so it was doing... It was... The grub fruit. It was messing with that. That looks disgusting. And highly realistic. Okay, Oh. Are you telling me you don't like the little creepy crawly? Well, I kind of want to stick one in a base and see what a duplicate would do. Let's go find a duplicate. <laughs> oh, we got a trapped notification. Oh, that is so handy. Um. <laughs> um. Th thank you, Ren. That was very helpful. Okay, so they don't look like they're aggressive at all. Yeah, okay, so you get 1,600 calories out of it. Okay. And we should bad. see that we just got some new meat over here. Yep. Perfect. That's cool. I like that. Oh, and you can select it or not select it, right? And there's a graph. Oh. <laughs> that you have. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, all this stuff here is looking pretty normal. There's that slushy cold thing. Oh, Ooh. this is new. Oh. 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 This device can send a duplicate to another world. Oh my. See destination. Hey, that's cool. So that might be how you see the asteroids. Magma, sandstone, oily, gives you some sort of idea. Let's go so view that's it. All that's on it. So it's like, um, Oasis or something. Yeah, so this is another destination that we can go visit. At, look at the bottom of the... Oh. And back in the skills list, it said Zahn. It said nobody at that location. Oh, you're right. There's multiple locations like that. Oh, Interesting. That's, that's cool. But what I want to do is see what happens when we go through the teleporter. Who gets to go in? Oh, oh okay. Nice. P. Camille. So. Also, what's on the floor? Is that carbon dioxide? Uh, that is oh, crude oil. oil. It's a... Uh, Slick machine. Uh. Camille, you're not going anywhere. Did you turn it on? Complete teleportation. Oh! Whoosh! Gone. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Oh, and it brings oh! you to it. That's awesome. Okay, that is amazing. Wow. And has a little bit of food here. All ready to go. A cryo tank? What? Okay, she gets to go in it. You can defrost friend. It looks like an outpost in there. Because there's another teleporter right there. It does. That's amazing. All right, Camille. Yeah, we get that it's not tasty. Just unfrost the friend. Hassan, welcome to the base, buddy. You've been thawed. Um, that's awesome. That is really cool. <laughs> also, is it nighttime at the same time on both planets? Yeah, it looks like it oh, is. Oh, okay. So we made it to Zahn, sort of. <laughs> Look, and there's bathrooms and everything here. There are. There's, there's a little bit of infrastructure on this one. So I assume this base almost died and then... I guess Hassan just was the only one left, so he froze himself in the cryo tank or whatever it is. Long time ago, yep. He's probably got some stories. Uh, yeah, I think all the worlds are relatively small. It's kind of hard because we can't zoom out to see the whole thing, but... Wouldn't Alt-S still work? Ah, yes. Okay, that's decently sized. I guess you haven't even seen space yet. Oh, okay. No, that's normal sized. Yeah, so this is fairly, fairly normal. And then we go to Zon, and if we zoom on out on Zon, yeah, that one is small. A little bit smaller, yeah. But that's let's a lot of oil on that one. Let's see where this one goes. Set destination. Zon's <laughs> like, I'm out of here, bud. <laughs> Thank you for thawing me out. Good luck. Woo. Hi, Hassan. You made it back, but we never dug that out. Sorry, bud. All right, so if you see a new piece of equipment, let me know. Printing pod. Dang it. Oh. 
Nice. All right, here we go. New buildings. Call them out if you see them. Besides the printing pod, because yeah, that not, not the printing pod. <laughs> that one. That one. Okay. So it seems like I have to go now. So have fun exploring all the new buildings. Burden potential range per kilogram of fuel. Whoa! There's all sorts of stats with this thing. Look at that. Orbital cargo module. Scout rover module. Build it. Ooh. Trailblazer module. Enables traveling to planet toys that do not yet have a rocket platform. <gasps> Small oxidizer tank, cargo bay, gas container thing, liquid. Put a nose cone on this sucker. Urgh! Look at that beautiful rocket. Wow, what a majestic thing. <gasps> that is cool. All crew, no landing site, change, view interior. I want to click on that. What? What? I'm inside a rocket, man. Oh my god. You can send them out in rockets and view them in transit. Holy mo- Oh, that's gonna be cool. Oh, look at this. The rocket navigation. What? I could fly it right over here, or I could just go all the way out here and, and see what's up. Send the module's contents to the surface of a currently orbited planetoid. What? <laughs> what is this? It's a completely different game! Jump on in, buddy! We're going to space! Alright, have we completed? Yes, we have completed everything we need! Here we go! First rocket launch! Acknowledge warnings! Oh, and we're gone! Bye bye Yum. And we are off. Now, let me take take a look at the star map. Look at him go! Look at him! Now, if we take a look at this... Here he is! <laughs> Just flying through space! Oh no! Hushkin, you don't have any oxygen! You forgot to bring oxygen, bud! Um... Uh, buddy? Buddy, this isn't good. I know, you're hungry too, that's not good. Oh no! Oh no, buddy! <laughs> We're gonna change that destination right back down here. Uh-oh. You're suffocating. Can you fly again? Let's just go to the schedule over here real quick. Hmm. You're gonna be working all day. Hop back in there, bud. Hop back in. Oh, there he is. Well, that didn't go as planned. All right, launch 2.0. Here we go. Yum. See, there it goes. In flight to empty space. Very nice. How you doing this time, bud? Good. I don't know if you're supposed to have oxygen in here or what, but you do now. There we are. The rocket has now reached its destination all the way out here. And I can't deploy that. But I can make it fly all the way back over there. Out of range, though. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so cool. All right. I don't understand exactly everything that's going on here, but you can fly rockets around space and do cool things with it. Nice. All right, so just a quick look at some of the new buildings we have available. Again, just to let you know, this is only part of what is going to be in the expansion. Uh, there's still a lot of equipment that is not yet in the alpha listed yet. A lot of the things that have to do with radiation and nuclear power and stuff like that. So the first thing we can see here is a new building for oxygen. This is going to take in polluted dirt and put out polluted oxygen. Really interesting. You might even be able to breathe your duplicates poop. <laughs> Something like that. We have a telescope here. This is kind of a lower, uh, a different version of the telescope than we've seen in the past. This, I guess, is supposed to work with the star map to kind of reveal the area around, around your different area or something like that to reveal different paths and whatnot. A lot of this is kind of grade off and then you expose it. I'm not exactly sure how you go through that whole process. I think it has to do with a little bit with the telescope and then there's some things that are going to be rocket mechanics as far as scoping things out. I don't know exactly. I'm going to have to play through it to figure that out. This over here is a sludge press, brand new piece of equipment right here, 120 watts or so. So this is going to separate a new element to us, mud, into their base elements. Pretty cool. We'll kind of check that out here. So you can see here, we can turn mud into dirt and water. Ooh, real nice. 
you can turn polluted mud into polluted dirt and polluted water. Nice. <laughs> and look at that animation. Nice. I love it. Next up, we have this oxygen mask system here. So this is a lot like our suits that we would normally put on the jet suit or the Atmo suit, except for this is just going to be a mask. So it's not going to give you the kind of benefits that you'd get for the temperature and whatnot. However, it is a way to provide a little bit of oxygen to your dupes. It just seems to suck in whatever air is around it. So that's going to be oxygen or polluted oxygen if that's around it as well. So when a dupe runs past it, you'll see that they'll put on a little bit of a mask. So long as there's enough oxygen in the thing. Come on, run faster. So check out Hassan here when Hassan moves past this machine. Put on a little oxygen mask. Boop, just like that. So now he's got a little breathable source of oxygen for a while. We can go throw him out here in space. There you go, bud. So I think that's all designed to get you into the rocket early on. Another thing we have over here is a couple of things like the rocket gas port, liquid port, and solid ports here. Allow solids to be loaded and unloaded from the storage of rockets. So once we come on over here to the rockets, you see that this thing is completely different. We have a rocket platform. You can build it up just like you would imagine there, but you can also change out the different modules for different things such as a cargo bay. We'll go ahead and build one of those up. Boom, just like that. Oh, ha, ha, so much better. This thing over here is kind of a payload opener. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but essentially this has both liquid, gas, and solids outputs as well. Let me modify this rocket here just a little bit. Orbital cargo module. Oh, look at that. Oh, that goes into there, doesn't it? Huh. Oh, we can bring agriculture back. Oh, you could pick what you want. Look at that. Oh, isn't that fancy? And then we're going to build on top of this, right? We can keep going. Add a new module on top. Basic nose cone. Blech. <laughs> what a derp of a rocket. Trailblazer module, yes! What? Enable auto delivery? What? I don't even know what that is. There's so much more stuff here. What about these engines? Hmm, let me swap this engine out. How about a sugar engine? Oh, everything changed! Oh, that was awesome! So if we take a look at some of the planets I've seen out here, We've got this cold planet over here. That's where we got some iron volcanoes. Very nice. But everything here looks mm, a little bit frosty. And it seems like it's going to be harder to get to some of these more remote little asteroids or whatever that are out here. Like there's definitely really, really good reasons to go out here because of these volcanoes and whatnot. To bring back like really unique resources. Like this spot right over here where we've got radium and whatnot. Hmm. But you were going to have to set up some sort of rocket system in order to go between these places. It's pretty awesome. Let's take a look at some other places where we can possibly go here. This place looks pretty nice. What do we got here? Tungsten Volcanoes? Ooh, yes, please. Me likey. And then the final planet here looks a little toasty. I'm not going to tell you what's here, but I'll have you know it's worth going to if you can survive it. That's, I guess, the ultimate goal. So while I've only seen bits and pieces of what all this new DLC has to offer, I can tell you that it really does feel like a whole brand new game, but a game that I'm quite familiar with. I'm very looking forward to playing through all of this new content here and also seeing how it develops over the next several weeks as they add more and more content to it, finally getting up to the full amount that will be the DLC that you can get your hands on here pretty soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it because I'm going to be uploading a lot more oxygen not included. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. As always, stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar out.